Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, playing Grand Tactician the Civil War. This is the continuation of our Confederate campaign. A uh, couple things about the game. They have put into beta an update, which turns the little 2D sprites that uh, you've been used to seeing into actual 3D units, so that should be cool. I'm not sure if that comes through right now or not, but um, it's going to be a pretty big improvement to the game my son was watching the other day and he asked me why all my uh all my soldiers look like a big blob so hopefully that'll change that all right on to the game it's currently october 24th 1861 all right i'm going to cut in and interrupt the recording here i have a viewer who had made a request that i turn on the uh voice to text option here he is hard of hearing and would like to um, be able to read the uh, read the audio of it. I'd like to help him out, but I do not know how to do that. So if you do know how to turn on the uh, audio to text, uh, please let me know in the comments so I could help the guy out. All right, back to the episode. In uh, ground units, but our Navy is hugely outnumbered in terms of tonnage. Uh, about even as far as the... Uh, military experience goes, and our battles won are slightly higher than theirs. We've killed more of them than they've killed of us, so that's a good thing. And if you look here, uh, where did that yes go? We won in Union territory. We won five consecutive land battles. Uh, we are in Kentucky, but we have not yet made any moves to... Uh, engage the enemy in Kentucky because they outnumber us. So, uh, in terms of policies, right now we are working on Diplomacy 1. We'll have that in 3.2 days. That'll give us access to uh, the import of Enfield and Lorenz rifles, which will help us out quite a bit. I think after that I'm going to probably uh, go with... Maybe something financial. So far we've done a fairly good job of keeping the credit rating up there. If it drops below a certain point, um, you aren't allowed to recruit any more units. And that could be a pretty bad thing. So, um, let's see. Who knows, I may actually go for this one. 464 days. Maybe not. Uh, Militia Act. Lengthening the contract to 36 months. 36 days. Uh, eh, might not be a bad idea to go that route. Uh, letters of Mark. Hmm. Well, we'll look at that when we... Uh, when we get to it, which shouldn't be too long here. More money might not be a bad idea either. Enfield Musketoons. And Diplomacy 3 would give us uh, Whitworth, Whitworth 6-pound rifles and 12-pound Blakely rifles and Ironclads. So that might not be a bad route because... So far, we haven't been able to do jack shit with these uh, blockades here. They've got quite the force here. They're so compact that I can't really uh, kind of get the pixel right to see how many they have. And our forces are just kind of hanging out somewhere. There we go. He's a f one ship, huh? The Patrick Henry. Where's the other uh, Navy units? They're there. Up in uh, Wilmington. Nine ships. So, we're still outnumbered. I have ordered more ships over there, but... As of yet, they're still kind of hanging out here in this river. There's 11 ships, a New Orleans squadron. Awaiting orders. See, I, I've given them orders several times, and they have yet to 
partake of those orders, so we're going to try and give them orders again. Not sure how they can, uh... Let's see what we can do here. There's... Condition is deteriorated. Well, that might not be a good thing. Alright, well, if you know, uh... What my issue is with this, uh, New Orleans Squadron... Uh, feel free to let me know. Because I would like to get them over there and deal with these blockades. I'm sure that's having uh, kind of an adverse effect on our supply. Uh, moving on to our armies here. Okay, they are heading up to Cumberland. We've got the Department of the Pennsylvania with 8,000 men sitting there waiting for them. That's the uh, one of the armies we just defeated. Uh, that's probably going to be our next engagement here. Over here, we've got the Army of Northern Virginia with Pickett. They're still recovering from a pretty embarrassing defeat. Even though they are confident, that's fine. They'll come into play pretty soon. Uh, and then the Army of the Shenandoah. And... The Army of the Northwest. They both uh, were the ones that were engaged in this conflict here. Uh, I would like to... I got a thing against McClellan for some reason. Not sure what it is, but... Maybe because he caused me so many problems early on in the game. But we are going to be... Working on this situation over here. As well as uh, we are going to be working on let's see upgrading depots that would be a good thing all right so we're upgrading the depot here and I'm gonna upgrade this depot here let's see what we have as far as uh, incoming our recruits go. Right, we've got a cavalry brigade that's eight days out. Headed to the Army of the Potomac. Uh, General Pickett has two infantry brigades, three infantry brigades, 37 days, 31, and 24. Army of the Shenandoah and the Army of the Northwest. We can't really see anything with them because they were just engaged in battle. Uh, let's check over here to the west. All right, we got Tattnall's squadron here. They're raiding uh, Louisville, I believe. Yep. They're raiding Louisville. We have the Department of the West with 25,000 men here. We've got the Army of Tennessee with 17,000 men here. Uh, they have no food, so that could be a problem. Hmm. Then up here we've got the Army of the Tennessee. The Union Army of the Tennessee with 26,000 men. Up in Indiana. We do have another army somewhere out here. Which I do believe I've ordered to move. The Missouri State Guard. They've got 18,000 men. They are entrenching. Not sure why they would be entrenching, but... We are going to try and send them... 
two join up. Let's see. Uh, let's see, what do we have? 15 days. 21, 21, 28, and 47. So we're going to give these guys a chance to uh, get all their units organized, and then I'm going to send them over. All right, well, let's hit play and see what happens. My credit rating just dropped a little bit. All right, the Army of the Potomac is still marching. They're heading up here towards Cumberland. All right, looks like the Department of the Ohio is moving out of uh, Gettysburg, huh? All right. Let's pause this for a second. So, it's a level one depot. That'd be nice to have. I don't think he can move yet. Or he can move, but it might not be a very good idea. Uh, they definitely outnumber Mr. McClellan, that's for sure. But they are moving out. Looks like they're heading towards Baltimore. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Time progress a little bit. Pony Express closes. Transcontinental Mail Service over. Telegraph replaces riders. A financial failure. All right. Ninety-five percent supplied. Ninety-nine percent supplied. Sure, if I want to order him over there just yet, let's cancel those orders. Nine thousand here. I'm wondering if I send Johnson up to Gettysburg if, uh, McClellan will respond and turn around. Diplomacy 1 selected. Alright, so he's got two hours until he gets his orders. I don't really want to split my forces here. We're going to have him move up a little bit. Pretty soon Pickett will be able to come up. Uh, Department of Pennsylvania. I think that was probably he was at his destination. Yep. Let's get him moving in. Clellan's kind of halted here, it looks like. Low 
fighting this. His supplies are running out. Well, hopefully, when if we capture uh, the Cumberland Depot, that'll change Zolikoffer withdrawing. And where are you, the Army of the Tennessee? Let's pause for a second, see what's happening. I tend to forget about the West. Oh, here we go. Department of the West with 25,000. They are pushing us back. So they decided to attack us here. We have 17,000 men in the Army of West Tennessee. We're sending them up. Let's see if we can order them by rail. Rail movement. They'll get their orders in three hours. I should probably start working on some of those telegraphs. Let's uh, see what we can do about getting our orders there a little faster. Okay. Here comes uh, Army of the Potomac. Convention held in London. Oh, shit. Completely forgot about the uh, policy. Uh, let's see. Regulars, Free Trade Act. Maximize tariffs the government will impose on imports. 20 days. European relations plus 10%. Four hundred and sixty-four days for that. That's pretty kinda long. Twenty days on this. Short term relief. Wish you to tell me what impact that had on my credit rating. You'd think inflation probably wouldn't be good for the credit rating. But we are uh, running a deficit of 156 million, so. 30 days for diplomacy, two. 36 days, we'll go with Militia Act, three. Slow movement, winter. All right, so we are into uh, the winter months. And we have an engagement here. Army of the Potomac with 16,000 men up against the Department of Pennsylvania with half that number. So we are going to enter battle and see what these 3D sprites look like if they are there. Now, like I said, I, I don't know if the beta uh, patch is active or if I have to wait until the middle of December when the developer said that the uh, patch is going to go live. So we'll find out. All right, 17,559 men under Major General Cock. 
versus Major General Patterson and his 8,500 men. Oh, we're attacking. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. Our scouts report the enemy near Cumberland, Maryland, and our army is prepared for battle. Enemy army is green, and the morale is reported to be confident. They have good supply, and so do we. Let's see. Get rid of this here. Get rid of this here. Antietam and Shepherdsburg Pike. So we have two objectives. We are up here. Where are these objectives? Way down here. And over here. Okay. And the enemy army, I'm assuming, is going to try and stand in our way of getting these objectives. They have an entry point here, 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 and so it looks like along the southern portion of the map. All right. So let's get our army on the move. So single line. We are going to have them. Like that, I guess, looks pretty good. Our supply isn't great. All right, let's get this started. All right. See what these uh, sprites look like. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that looks nice. Oh. That looks pretty cool. Yep, there they are. Got our artillery here. Okay, we're going to send our cavalry. I have them scout ahead. Send them right to the edge of Sharpsburg. what they can find. There goes the uh, courier He's in the trees now. He'll pop out in a second. There he is. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> that is nice. These developers are really... Uh, they stayed on top of things and listened to uh, the players. So, here goes our cavalry moving out. Let's speed this up a little bit.
Okay, we're gonna start moving our divisions out too. Have oh, we're taking fire. I heard that. Okay. So here is the enemy. Let's pause for a second. Seems our cavalry is, uh... Have you fall back a little bit. It's going to take a while to get the orders there. They are clustered right here. Okay, so... Let's see how we want to arrange things. Have them set up right here. Wow. Oh my lord. Like this. And pull our cavalry back a little bit before they get shredded. Always seems to happen to me. <coughs> the rest of our army is moving out, getting into position. It looks like uh, what I can do is have our main body keep these guys occupied here. Well, Adam's division kind of comes in on the flank. I think our cavalry is already broke. Yep. Broken routed. Have you rally? Okay. We are getting into position. Sure do take a curious route sometimes. here to kind of start opening up on them. I have you set to counter battery fire. And set these guys to fire at will. Okay, they are firing now, so slow this down a little bit. I don't get ahead of myself. All right, comes. Adam's division. Have you move over here? 
like this. Give the order to advance. Right now, I don't think I'm going to detach any skirmishers. We're going to move our commander up a little bit. All right, our guys, artillery over here are, are firing. And they're reloading. You can see them reloading. That's so cool. Look at them. Through the smoke, you can see them reloading. Cannon moves back. Guy starts reloading. Okay. Get our artillery up here. We pushed them out of their defensive positions. I'm not sure why they would do that. Let's get you up here. over. Let me fire on these uh, two artillery battalions out here. We're going to have you fire here. And artillery battalion that's just kind of hanging out back here. Get them moved up. Where is your commander? Oh, way over there. I wonder if it's taking them so long to move. Okay, you're getting a little close there, bud. Start moving these guys up. Reset on long range. You, I'm up 
here. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, have you come up here? Come on, come on, click. Got an artillery battalion that's just kind of hanging out back here. It's like they might be moving. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, it looks like our, we are in contact. I don't think that was a good idea of them. Pulling out of their trenches like that. coming out on this flank over here. Looks like they're uh, you come over here and start hitting these artillery units. You as well. Uh, Greg. Get you moving, buddy. Move our commander's up a little bit. Battalion's finally on the move. I have to have them come up here. Assuming by the time they actually get up there, we will be advanced enough that... Let's come down here like this. Cavalry 
is still back here. Unstable, but I'm going to move him up or try to anyway. Alright, we do have a whole lot of artillery over here. So we're going to start dealing with them. Pushing them back. See, here is uh, taking a good bit of losses. break probably due to taking a canister to the face uh have Yule's brigade come down here and deal with this artillery Archer's Brigade. I want you to move up here. And we're going to have you fall back. I think you just broke. Yep. Whoops. Okay. Have you come up here. Get Preston's battalion, he's still moving up. Have you rally? And it looks like we're just uh, fighting artillery right now. Keep moving our guys up. just became an artillery battalion, so... Fire on him. Enemy 
is retreating. About 43 minutes to pursue. Okay, we'll have you focus on him. Move you up here. The order to advance. Have our artillery firing on them. <coughs> this artillery battalion fire on him. And you can fire on him as well. Those 3D sprites sure do look nice. We are pushing them back pretty good. If you start firing on him. I wonder what the little envelope is that pops up when I hover over my one unit there. Charge him. You can charge him too. Why not? Chasing everyone else away, so might as well do something with these guys. We'll just have three brigades charge this one. They've lost as much men as they have left. See anyone else we can uh, take the fight to? Seven minutes. Hit him on the way out. No mercy, no mercy. One minute. And there we go. All right, the Battle of Cumberland, fought near Cumberland, Maryland. Your army is victorious. It was a major Confederate victory too, nice. Fantastic. Alright, so, uh, Department of the Pennsylvania lost 3,100 of 10,500 men. We lost 1,156 out of, uh, 1,700. Holy shit, they lost every single one of their guns. 
Now, my cavalry, this is something I'm wondering. Out of 785, we lost 38, and they broke. So, that's kind of uh, a little confusing to me. But we won the battle, major victory, Battle of Cumberland. I think now we're going to uh, bed down, I guess you could say, for uh, winter quarters. Work on building our forces up. Seems we do get a uh, movement penalty because it's winter in November. Oh, thankfully the winter here in central New York where I am is uh, hasn't really been too bad. So, uh, enemies' national morale dropped by 0.85, and we gained 1.06 in military experience. So the winter time will be spent preparing for the spring. Let's see what uh, Cumberland, Maryland looks like now. I do have two armies on the move up to uh, Gettysburg. That may be where they uh, sit and wait things out. I'm not really sure. Still kind of learning how uh, how all that works in the game. So, Glorious victory at Cumberland. Uh, the enemy has reportedly suffered total casualties of 3,148 men. And their morale is believed to be unstable. And our morale is confident, but our supply situation is mediocre. So, something we are going to have to keep in mind going forward. Alright, that's going to do it for today's episode of our Confederate playthrough on Grand Tactician the Civil War. We had a pretty decisive victory there. Uh, of course, they were outnumbered 2-1, to one, so it is what it is. Uh, we didn't take Cumberland, but I'm assuming that's going to come when we move the uh, army down into it. I'm planning on holding them there and building them up and getting ready for spring. Anyway, that's going to do it. If you like the episode, hit that like button. If you are not yet subscribed and would like to follow along with the rest of the Confederate campaign, I think things are going pretty good. And uh, I'd like to have you come along with us, so hit the subscribe button. And as always, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice, including how to turn on the audio to text option in the comments below, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.